back to my channel. So this video I am bringing you another knot of the week. Now this knot is called the Seal of Solomon and it is a Celtic knot or Celtic. I've been reading, try to figure out exactly how to pronounce that and I saw where different things said if it's like an adjective you say Celtic and then if it's the sporting team you say Celtic. I don't know. I'm trying to say it properly but if I didn't I'm sorry but th that is the type of knot that it is. These knots are less common but there's you see them you see them sometimes, but you just kind of just don't really know what they are. But here we are, and I'm going to show you how to do it. It is a very beautiful, beautiful knot. Um, it is pretty intricate, and it takes a little bit of, you know, patience. This is what it looks like, and it is very, very beautiful. You can do so much with this. You can make larger ones and use it for certain things, or you can even attach this into a macrame piece by the two strings that it has on it, you know, as little little drifters floating down through the fringe or something like that. There's many different things that you can do with this piece, but for now I'm just going to show you how to do it. And what you're really going to need is you're going to need a very long piece of rope. Um, I just have this one right here and I think it's about 90 inches and you can see that there's a lot left over, but as you're going through the piece you're really going to need that extra length. So here we go. So after you've gotten your rope cut, I'm going to make one side extremely way more longer than the other. So literally about like that. Here's one end. And the other end is like way down here. So make the other end a lot longer. What I've done is you can see that it's just kind of laying here like this. Here's the short end. Here's the long end. I'm going to take the long end and just kind of bring it across and leave the little loop just like that. So you can see where we've got the loop. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to kind of make another loop, bring it down in on top of this one, just like that. But now instead of leaving it like that, we're going to take this rope and push it underneath this rope. So kind of just pull it through like that. And then you should have a loop in a loop. And here's your working rope underneath the end rope. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take that working rope, you're going to take the end of it and you're going to go over this rope, underneath this rope, over this rope and underneath this rope just like that and I'm just going to kind of hold it in place and pull that rope through and now you see we've made that third loop now it's time to make the fourth loop and to do that this part just kind of gets a little time consuming you're going to take that working rope which is this one here here's the end rope still and you're going to kind of loop it oops and you're going to loop it upwards like this so the end the end of the working rope is going to kind of lay parallel to the end ropes just like this. You're going to follow the ropes and the loops with that working rope. So for instance the end is going through here underneath this one so we're going to take this one go over this rope underneath here you're just going to follow that pattern wherever that rope goes you go with it and then it goes over this rope and underneath this rope so just keep following it And this one comes around and underneath here. So you're going to go underneath this rope. It goes underneath this rope. It's going to go around. And then it's going to go over and under here. As you can see, I'm just following that pattern. And as you start pulling everything tighter, you can see this fourth loop start to form here. And we're just going to keep following it. Go underneath. I'm going to make sure you're going to go underneath this working rope because that's where that one's going. We're going to go underneath these. And then underneath these. And then once more, we're going to go underneath, follow this last little rope that's single, the one that we just did, follow it through, and through this area over here. 
Okay, so now you can see that there are four little loops and now it's just, I mean the knot is complete, you just have to tighten it. And this is where it can get a little tricky because round knots are a little bit more difficult to get pulled together tightly and everything. So you might have to pull one through, keep pulling it through till you reach an end. So I'll show you what I mean. It's easy if you start with the one that you first started with. So I'm just going to start tugging on these just like this and making them tighter as we go. And you can just see, you just start tugging the ropes about like that, the inside of them. until you are left with something like this and it is so pretty y'all like there's so much you can do with this and I think it's just exquisite so anyways that is the end of the video I know it's a simple knot like I mean it's it's simple but yet it's very very intricate and I think there's just so much potential with it like that you can do anything with it so anyways if you like the video give me a big old thumbs up and subscribe more to come I'm gonna try to do it weekly for I don't know how long but but every week I'm gonna be trying to do a different knot so I hope that you enjoyed this one and I hope you all have a great day and God bless